I had the chance to attend Saturday's practice at Hallis Hall this past weekend. And if you can get tickets yourself to go to any training camp along with taking off work or whatever you have to do to be there, you need to go. This team is going to be so much fun to watch on and off the field. And they're going to be fun for a very long time. I cannot express that enough. Justin Fields looks entirely different already this season. His style of play, his physical appearance, everything. He is just all out there right now. And I cannot wait for this guy to be in an NFL game. And the energy around Hallis Hall is insane right now. Fields jerseys, Edmund jerseys, you name it. They got it all. It was a total blue and orange wave at Hallis Hall this past weekend. People are sold on this team, and I cannot express how, if the Bears were a Wall Street stock publicly traded, I would be buying everything I can. Shoot, I'd even take out a mortgage for it. Today, I am going to run through some of the highlights of Saturday's past practice and what you can look forward to this upcoming week for the Chicago Bears. They practiced this week on July 31st, August 1st, 2nd, 4th, 5th, and Bears Family Fest on August 6th. Also want to give a quick shout out to Drunk Ryan Poles, The Bears Productions, and The Windy City Productions for hanging out this past Saturday at camp. We had a ton of fun. A lot of good things coming up for you guys. You're not going to want to miss this. Go make sure you follow everybody in the description below. But we have some events that all of you can be involved in, and we cannot wait. Before we begin, please hit the like button on this video. Share your thoughts in the comment section below, and hit that subscribe button if you like the content. So let's go into the offense. Justin Fields' accuracy is looking fantastic. Fields was hitting deep passes all day, including the corner basket drill from over 50 yards out, and he was looking accurate. On top of it, he was also doing a very good rapid fire drill where he was hitting all his targets he had to do, clearly showing that his accuracy has greatly improved this offseason. DJ Moore is going to be special, I'm telling you. Fields and him are just clicking right now. They had an interview after Saturday's practice where they mutually agreed that the chemistry between between them is fantastic right now. On top of that, they also are pretty much best friends on the field, according to all their teammates. They are looking great so far. I love what they're doing. And Justin Fields is a man of the people, brought DJ Moore in with open arms, and these guys are going to be very dangerous for opposing defenses. I want to talk about this a lot, is that the offensive line is clicking very well right now. During Saturday's practice, it was seeing guys constantly talking to each other, whether you're on the first, second, or third team, going through different reps, and also helping point out how to run plays, who can do better with what, and there is a ton of leadership, especially from Nate Davis and Cody Whitehair on this offensive line. They are looking great so far. Also, Don Allwright and Braxton Jones are absolutely massive human beings, and I think that they are the perfect bodyguards for Justin Fields for many years to come. I want to talk about a guy that I think is on the roster bubble and has a legitimate shot at making this roster, and that is Aaron Cruchank. Like in the last video, there was a one-handed catch for him but he is insanely fast. They had him doing a ton of really awesome uh, flea flickers and also pitch routes where he was able to break it up corner or through gaps and not even get touched with how fast he is. Good hands, good feet, good speed. This is someone that the Chicago Bears can need, probably on special teams, and he could be a big problem. Chase Claypool also looked very good out there this past weekend. They're starting to ramp him up more and more, which looks great. He had some really nice extensions this past weekend. On top of it, he also is seen with teammates last laughing, smiling, talking to coaches. The stress is not getting to him. At least it does, he's really good at not showing it. And I think that Bears fans need to back off the gas pedal on my hate and foot to the floor on this guy having a massive season. Rashawn Johnson is also an absolute beast of a player. He can block, he can catch, and he can run absolutely ripping it upfield at ease. And I really like what I saw out of him. I think he's going to get a ton of playing time this year. And if you haven't already, I would go out and buy his jersey. I could see this guy being on the Bears for a very long time. Room for opportunity, I'm pointing at Khalil Herbert. He struggled big time in the blocking drills that were in front of the stands that we were all sitting in. He could not block any which was a huge concern last season. It's starting to carry on into this season. I would like to see how they do in pads. Maybe he just didn't want to hit guys or injure them potentially, but it wasn't a good look to start things off. So I'm hoping Khalil Herbert does a little bit better in the upcoming days, especially when pads get on. And I want to see more of Robert Tunyon. He's a guy that the Bears brought in as TE2. You know, not the future, obviously, when they signed Cole Komet to the four-year $50 million contract, but I would like to see Robert Tunyon be ran more through Luke Getz's offense. Let's go over to the defense. The secondary is still looking absolutely fantastic and I think that's going to be one of the strongest parts of this defense. They are insanely fast to start things off. Kyler Gordon also came out and said that a lot of the guys, especially himself, want to play either nickel or outside.
side. They want the opportunity to be versatile and next man up. And I really like that type of energy and mentality that this secondary is doing so far. Brisker also looks really good. Very smooth. Looks comfortable. Looks like a five-year veteran, to be honest with you, when he's on that field, talking to guys, talking to other parts of his teammates, whether that be the offense, special teams, or anything like that. Brisker is looking very confident so far, and I like what I see. One guy I want to call out looking out for is Josh Blackwell. He is insanely fast, very smooth on his feet, got a lot of swagger too on the field, something that the Bears locker room needs. You know, when he was on the interview a couple of days ago, he said that he's more of the quiet guy in the locker room, but he's definitely starting to find his voice with this team. I am very excited for Blackwell this upcoming season, and you're going to want to make sure that you keep your eye on him during training camp and preseason because this guy's going to make a lot of plays. The linebacker unit also looks really good so far as well. Jack Sanborn looks bigger and faster. Tremaine Edmonds had a nice interception and also TJ Edwards is really starting to make trouble for Justin Fields over the middle as he keeps knocking down passes and also intercepting the ball. Not all Fields' fault. Give him that because TJ Edwards is a hell of a football player. But this linebacker core, and also a little shout out to Noah Swell. He also looks, one, massive. Two, really good football player. I'm a very excited for the Bears uh, defensive court, especially the linebacker room for a very long time. The defensive line had themselves a day as well, getting good pressure on Justin Fields. Again, we haven't signed an edge yet, and I think that Ryan Poles is starting to go, hey, I think I might have the pieces that I might be okay. DeAnthony Jones, an undrafted rookie free agent from Houston, looked absolutely unbelievable over the last two practices, tallying up five sacks during 11 on 11s. I am very excited for this kid. He, again, undrafted rookie free agent. They got a chip on their shoulder, got him for really cheap and could be the next Jack Sanborn. One thing to keep an eye on is Eddie Jackson, as he did sit out on Saturday. Everything looks okay. He was in his jersey. He was walking around. He was smiling. I think it was just a veteran kind of rest day for him. I really like what I see out of Bo Jack so far. Not too worried, but just wanted to put that out there for you guys. Special teams look the same as well. Vellis Jones Jr. and Tyler Scott were taking punt returns. Vellis Jones Jr. was taking kick returns. Krushank was also on kick returns. Everything is looking good. Kyra Santos leg looks absolutely unbelievable as well. So overall, good. Team is staying healthy. Vibes are very high at Hallis Hall so far. Kevin Warren also was walking around saying hi to fans, which I thought was so professional and awesome of him. So very excited about that. We have a ton more news coming for you guys coming up over the next couple of days. So make sure you stay tuned for that. We have a couple of really awesome interviews too. So excited to share that with you guys. And also make sure you hit that subscribe button because we have our biggest giveaway ever happening very, very soon. You are not going to want to miss it. And if you subscribe, you're already in. But just tr trust me. Trust me, it's like this with a number one instead. Thank you for joining this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde, and as always, we'll see you guys next time.